Hi, today I'm going to show you a plugin called Suggestion Boxes. Now this plugin lets you put up ideas for audiences to vote on and it also lets your visitors submit ideas for others to vote on to see which is more popular. And this is a really great way for you to figure out what your customers, your readers want and which one to do first. So let's take a look at how this plugin works. After you install the plugin, you will see an item here called Suggestion Boxes. Now, let's take a look at the settings. On the top here, you will have some shortcode instructions for the shortcodes that you can or want to put on your pages, and we'll cover this shortly. Next thing you will see are some settings here. Now, typically, you will want to allow public voting. If this is unchecked, that means only people who have accounts on your WordPress site will be able to vote. And this might be useful if you have a membership site or you use WordPress for internal use. The same thing goes for public submission. If you want other people who do not have an account in your WordPress site to submit ideas and suggestions to you, you will check that. And the last one checkbox here is something called auto suggestion close, which I do recommend that you uh, check because this will allow you to let your suggestions run on autopilot and you don't have to baby it. The next thing here we see is the uh, default status for any new suggestions. So we typically want to keep it as draft. This way you can moderate and approve any of the submitted suggestions. However, if you don't want to do that, you can also set it to publish and all the suggestions that people submit to you will automatically be published. So we'll keep it as draft. And the final section for the suggestion settings here are colors for how you want the voting buttons to look like. So likes are usually in green and dislikes are in red. And you can change this just by clicking on that and moving the cursor around here. We're just going to keep everything as default right now and save the changes. Now we are ready to create a new suggestion for people to vote on. So let's click on add new. And we have already prepared an item here. Let's say we want to ask people if they want to have an option to submit course suggestions. So we'll give it a title and we'll give it a little bit of a description here so that people understand exactly what they are voting for. And over here on the right, you can choose to end the voting by date, in which case you just select a date, or you can choose by total votes, in which case you just enter a number or you can use a slider. So I recommend an odd number, that way you won't have ties. So maybe something like that. And once we're happy with this suggestion, we can simply publish it. So now we can view our suggestion. This is where people can like or dislike it. So let's dislike it and it will show your visitor that they have voted. And if they try to refresh this page, they will see that they have, their vote has been counted and they cannot vote anymore. So what if we want to allow people to submit suggestions to us? That's very easily done. We first want to create a post or a page. Usually we will create a page for this because it's static content, so let's do that. Give it a title. Create your post like you would with any type of content in here for right now. We're just going to give it a quick paragraph. And the next thing we do is we need to enter the suggestion submission form. So we go up here to the suggestion box drop down, click that, and we click add a form. And this will show us the what the form looks like. Now, this form doesn't have any options to edit, so if you click edit, they will have uh, no attributes for this to edit, and you can just close it since there's nothing to edit. If you don't want it, you can just simply click on it, and once it's shaded, you remove it. So once again, we, want, we do want to show the form, and we publish this page. So now if you want to let people submit suggestions to you, we just send them to this page. And you can link this page anywhere on your sidebar or your navigation bars and anything like that. Let's assume I am submitting a suggestion here. 
from the front end and I am a customer or I'm a visitor and I would like to see a Twitter traffic course. So I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to give it a little bit of description what I want the course to look like. I can also choose like the admin whether I want to end the voting by date. Since we did the other one by number of votes, we will do this by date and we'll select a date and we'll submit. And this is what people will see after they have submitted a suggestion. Now let's go back into our backend to see this su suggestion submitted. And we'll go to suggestion box, all suggestions. And we'll see that it has been created in a draft. We can edit it to take a look at what people have suggested. If we do want to approve this and we think that's, that's not a bad one, let's go ahead and publish it. You can. Or if you don't like the way that they've suggested their settings for the vote, you can also change that here. But we don't want to change it, so we'll publish it right away. Just like the previous one, we can see that this is available for people to vote on. We can like that, and again, they'll see the messages that they have voted. Now, another cool feature about this plugin is that you can actually list all the available suggestions on one page for people to look at. So let's go back to the page that we created for the submissions. And you can do this on any page or any post, but just to make things easy, we're going to put it on the same page. That was the one. And at the bottom here, and you can put it anywhere you want because this is a free form. We'll just put it here and we'll give it a bigger heading. And next thing we do is go up here, suggestion box, click that, drop down and click show suggestions. And now you can put in a number, how many of suggestions that you want to show. We only have two. So if we put anything more than that, it's just going to show all of them. So we're going to put five and it will give you a rough idea what the suggestion box will look like. This is, will be different from what it will look like on, on the front end, but this will be a good idea. Now, if you want to change the number of items that you want to display, you can just simply click on it and click the edit and just change it to six maybe and you update. Now, of course, this is not going to show you because we only have two suggestions, but when you have more, it will definitely show up as a list proper and you click update. And now if you view this page uh, and you scroll down, you will see that people can actually vote right here if they want to. Since I've already voted, I can't do it. But uh, you can actually list a huge list and people can go down the list and vote the ones they like. And if they want to have a better idea what the suggestion is all about, they can simply click on the link and it will take them to the suggestion page itself to see what the big hoo-ha is about. So let's assume we want to end voting right now. We can simply click on the suggestion and over here in the suggestion box settings, we click end voting. And if we want to show people the result of what the voting is, we can just click that show result and update. Now, when we view the post, it will show people that voting has ended and they can't vote anymore. And it will tell you what the result is like. I hope you see how useful this plugin can be for membership sites, for blogs, to help you give your audience exactly what they want, keep them happy, and keep them coming back to you.